This is an excerpt and an illustration from my ever-growing historical fictional novel called Water Dancer, an account of my ancestors who lived in 50 BCE in the northern forest of Europe, Rosalind and Siegelbert, horse people, warriors, soulmates, and healers both. This is from the chapter, The Moon is Our Friend. As a young girl of four, she would wake under the light of a large, brilliant moon that would pour in through the opening of her window. It felt like the light was calling to her. She would leave her bed, walk out her parents' door, and wander down the path till she came to the pasture where her father's horses slept. She loved the moon. In her village, the moon was described as a home where all her relative spirits would go and where her own spirit would go when they left their bodies. It waxed when, when the spirits arrived, and it waned as those loved ones returned and the newborns, both human and animals. Sometimes she would walk through her village visiting the newest babies, look into their eyes and try to see who they might resemble, a great aunt or uncle, a grandmother or a grandfather who had left and now had returned. Once, while she and her father were tending to the horses under that full moon, she asked him if it were true. Was that bright light really a home where souls of friends go? His reply was simple. He told her what his parents had told him. He picked up her small form and held her face in that moon. He said, The monthly cycle of a moon is the promise that those we love always return. As it grows brighter each cycle, the spirits of our loved ones are leaving to go there. Her eyesight followed the direction of his arm and finger as he pointed at the moon. And as the moon becomes a sliver of light, they are returning in the form of babies and colts and dogs and cats and all our friends. She laughed at that. He continued, We live in a world filled with many beautiful and strange things. We, we become friends with this world by recognizing her gifts to us. One of the strangest things in life is to watch everyone you know and love leave you. I have seen most of my childhood friends leave this earth through war and natural deaths. My friends were young, and now they are gone. Or maybe they are not. He looked into her eyes as though he was looking beyond them into a place deep inside her. She reminded him of his grandmother, of his mother, for whom she was named. The way this small, beautiful child looked at him as though she were studying the structure of his thoughts, his memories. He felt captivated by those eyes. He smiled and said, The moon is the gift of a promise that those we love always, always, always return. The moon is the gift of hope. She thought about what her father had said this night as she stood next to Pathfinder. She was a small child when she had met him. The moment she saw him, she felt that she knew him. It was like greeting an old friend, long ago lost, now returned. She never knew her grandfather, but the story she had heard was that he was a strong and kind leader to her clan, and a loving father to her own father. Sometimes she thought that Pathfinder was like a grandfather to her, a guardian and a protector, a friend to her spirit when she was troubled, and a companion when she was happy. When she was with him, her entire world felt calm. Pathfinder was evidence to her that life was good. This horse was her friend. 